Hey guys, welcome to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your photos using a free platform, which is Google Photos. Google Photos is amazing. So I'm going to show you first the desktop client, then I'm going to show you how to do it on your mobile device as well, either if you're using an Android or an iOS device. So the first thing you want to do is go over to photos.google.com slash apps. And then once you are at that URL, you're going to see this guy pop up here. What you're going to want to do is download the desktop version here. I'm on a Mac. It works the same way for Windows. I'm going to go ahead and install the Google Photos application. And once you do that, if you're on a Mac, you can drag the icon over to the Applications folder. Go ahead and drag that there. And then once you have it in your Applications folder, go ahead and open up the Google Photos application. Again, it's going to work the same way on a Windows as it does on a Mac. So I'm going to minimize that now and show you guys exactly what it looks like. So it's going to ask you, hey, by using Google Photos Backup, you agree to Google's terms and services and privacy policies and all of that. Understand you are putting all of this stuff on the cloud, so you do need to understand that. Then you're going to see this here. Click the blue continue button. It's going to say you need to log into your Google account. Again, this is pretty standard. So make sure you go ahead and log into your Google account. Once you have logged into your Google account, it's going to ask you, what do you want to back up onto Google Photos. So for the purposes of my situation, I'm not going to back up the cameras and storage cards because I do some uh, photography and wedding videography on the side. So that would kind of be redundant. So we'll do iPhoto library, Apple Photos library, desktop and pictures. Then what we're going to do is select from two options. You're going to have either high quality or original. I always choose high quality because it's free and unlimited. And um, if you want to, you can do the originals. You have 80, uh, you have a little over 100 gigs, uh, right at 100 gigs that Google provides to you if you want to do the original file size. But high quality is perfectly fine. Trust me, I've tried both of them. If you want to get more storage, you can click this button here and it'll show you the prices for additional amounts of storage. Click the blue button that says start backup. It will then say Google Photos backup is a go. Click OK. Now you can click in your little icon up here on a Mac or down below on a Windows and you can say, hey, I want to view uploaded photos or I want to go to Google Photos. So basically you can see, hey, how many photos um, is Google Photos backing up? And basically, you can do all of that here in the preferences. Now, now that you know how to do it on the desktop, let's jump over to the mobile device and I will show you how to do it over there as well. All right, guys, and now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your mobile device. It's even easier than the desktop version. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to your app store, whether you're using an Android or an iPhone, whatever device you're using, download the Google Photos app. It's going to look like the little colorful pinwheel like it did on the desktop app. Go ahead and open up the Google Photos app. So I'm, I'm logged out of everything here. You're going to see the little pinwheel spin for a few seconds. Then it's going to say get started. It's going to say backed up safe all that good animation stuff there. Click on Get Started. Now, remember when you're doing this, you're giving Google access to your images on your device. So if you're worried about security, understand that's what you're doing. Go ahead and click OK uh, underneath that. Then it says Google Photos would like to send you notifications. I always click Allow here. That way I know when it's backed something up. Um, and then once you've done all of that, it's going to ask you this. It's going to say, are you going to give Google access to backup and sync? So say yes. Go ahead and click that little blue check mark there. If it's over to the left right there, make sure you click the button there that says turn on and make sure the blue switch is all the way over to the right. Um, I don't normally do uh, use cellular data to back up because, again, those of you without unlimited data plans, that may end up hurting you in the long run. But if you do want to use cellular data, uh, you can click the bottom one there. But what I found is that when I get back to a Wi-Fi network, it happens so quickly that it really doesn't matter. Then what you're going to do is tap on the blue continue button at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Then it's going to ask you the same thing it asks you over on the desktop. It says um, the upload size for your photos and videos. And again, remember this is for videos as well. I always choose the high quality version Number one, it's free and it's unlimited, right? So those are two really good things. And number two, I've compared the two. When I've uploaded the originals on Google Photos, they come out slightly better, especially if you have a super nice camera like on the iPhone 7 Plus or the Galaxy 7s and 8s and above. Uh, but again, there's really not that much of a difference. And when you're storing this much data, unless you're a professional photographer, I'm not quite sure you're really going to want that the, the raw images. But if you want that, you can uh, click the originals there and do it that way if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and choose high quality, tap the continue button once more. It's then going to say, give you a few different animations here, then click the check box at the bottom there. 
And then as you see, you're going to see all of these images of the things that I've taken on my phone. And you're going to see the little white sync option there on the bottom right hand corner. But if we tap the assistant button in the lower left hand side of the screen, it's actually gonna show you a progress bar of, hey, here's how many photos we have to back up. Uh, and as you can see here, I have like over 1,800 that need to be backed up. Again, I'm doing this from a fresh account for the purposes of this tutorial. But guys, how easy is that? It's a free backup solution from Google. And you may be wondering, what's the benefit that Google gets from this, providing you this free service? Well, they get to improve their facial recognition software and their object recognition software because they're gonna have data of all of these images that are being uploaded to their servers and their service. So that's what they get from that. And you have to sacrifice a little bit of your peace of mind and security, knowing that you're uploading all of your images on to the web and to the cloud. I always wanna make sure I make that clear, but seriously, Google and the Google Photos and that system and the ecosystem is just so easy to use. And that's how you do it on the desktop client as well as the mobile device. If you have any further questions on this, I'm going to be doing a full Google Photos tutorial on how to use the platform next week. So if that's something you're interested in, slap that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and guys, until next time, talk to you later.